Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a quick look at the Make ID Q1 HD. This is a mini thermal printer which is wireless using Bluetooth and it's really cute in how it's styled like a retro typewriter and even has mechanical keys on the top. You're able to of course print labels for organizing things or even thumbnail size black and white images just for fun and it uses again no ink because just like receipt printers all of the ink is located in the paper itself which is going to be activated by heat. Some other functionality include a date key that allows you to instantly print out the current date for things like expiration, if you're a small seller or looking to create a store, again for organizing things. And this unit in particular sells for around 55 bucks, which is not too bad. It's competitive compared to past mini thermal printers that we've seen on the market from companies like Fomemo with their B21 that was also a very cute styled mini printer. Also reminds me a bit of something like the Davu Ditto, which likewise has more of a retro vibe because of the mechanical keys on the front. Some final remarks here, this is 300 dpi in terms of resolution, which is also about average compared to other mini thermal printers, and you can also pick between thermal labels. Offer different colors, some which are sticky on the back like tape, and we've got the white colored version of this mini thermal printer. Down below this, we have access to just a quick user guide, which also tells you how to install the thermal paper inside, as well as a quick QR code for downloading the companion app for iOS or for Android. Further down below here, we have access to just a charging cable, which is using a standard USB Type-C. So just a closer look here at the design, it is indeed really cute in its appearance, aside from the mechanical keys for power, as well as printing out the date and a custom preset that you can have in the app. There's also an LED status light on the front and the side here can be pressed on to basically cut the paper that you are printing out. So the label will actually be printing out there from the right hand side and you can lift open the door here to pop the roll and it tells you to also download the companion app. By default there is a clear white label that is pre-installed. Interestingly, this part is almost see-through but not quite, so if they made it a little bit more transparent, it might be easier to see if there's tape underneath. Now one potential difference with this model though compared to the aforementioned Fomemo and Nimbot is that the tape that it uses is a lot smaller. So it's a fairly narrow print as you can see there compared to those other versions that was more of a slightly wider print. This one is a lot more centered around organization but otherwise pretty similar in terms of dimensions and weight. The back here also features a Type-C port for charging. So turning on the mini printer, we can see that the companion app almost instantly recognizes the Q1. But the main UI here tells you if you're paired, as well as you can instantly begin choosing different templates for printing out. For instance, organizing around the home, you can take a look at skincare products, shower, shirts, even cables. If you have different ones, you can further Organize. So let's say I want to print this one. It's going to load the template as a preset and afterwards we can also fine-tune things like the font size. From here you can even print multiple copies and you can see that the print will then kind of pop out there on the side working pretty much as expected and you can then tap on again the key to basically slice that print out. So it is going to be smudge proof and also water resistant as well which is good and it's instantly dry as you can see there. It looks actually quite legible so no problems in terms of smaller details and icons. Still easy enough to see and it is a sticky surface so if we take it off you can tell it is a translucent texture here by default. So under other categories like life, you can also find corresponding templates for objects like pens as well as different appliances that you may have. For mother and baby, including labeling some other objects, as well as under holiday, you'll find slightly more decorative stickers that you can even use to seal envelopes different colored paper which is now going to be green so you have to make sure it's facing outwards and we're going to slice this off this one now says with all my love also looks quite good with the colored background and this one is an example of a truly opaque sticker so there's nothing translucent about it even if you peel it back it's going to look like this as an example of the editing functionality you're able to again customize what text you want to have displayed and you're able to also relabel as well as reposition all the elements as you are printing them out you can even change the order around as you can see there so the editor works 
generally well enough. You're also able to insert things like additional stickers, uh, which are quite cute, and they have these custom emojis and icon packs, which you can play around with here directly. You can also use small images that you crop from your gallery or album, but keep in mind that everything will be in black and white, and it is a pretty small, almost nail-sized image, so contrast has to be a little bit higher, but overall it works, as well as doodles as well. Something like hi, you can change also the font, erase it, the thickness of the pen, completing the doodle will also stick it on as another section there. And finally, things like QR codes as well as barcodes. You can generate a URL and then type that in and it will generate into the code format. We further save these for editing, printing at a different time, even borders you're able to add in. So I can tap on frames here if I want something a little bit more decorative. So this is going to be a good example because we do have smaller details on here including that image in terms of black and white, barcodes, but everything is still fully legible for the most part. Now finally under me, that's where you're able to customize that button there as a hotkey to instantly print out something that you desire every time. Let's use a logo like OS Reviews and hit on Save that will now be customized and popped over to the printer under the C key. And in the future, whenever we tap on this custom key, you can see that OS Reviews sticker pop out there as expected. The date stamp will work in exactly the same way and you are able to customize the layout as well. So let's say I want the first one, I can tap on confirm and that will also be ready for us to use whenever we tap on the D key in the future. So we don't have to use the app necessarily from printing out these commonly used uh, stickers. So it's a quite simple overall application but definitely does the trick. The entire mechanical feel of these buttons as well I think is also quite clever and just makes the entire thing feel more tactile and responsive. Although again I do wish that the size of this printer would have been maybe a little bit larger if they could print it out maybe from the top and have a slightly wider print that could make it even more versatile if you are trying to print images. But nonetheless if you are really just looking for labels this is a pretty well designed and also attractive looking tiny printer. You can check out additional details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Make ID Q1 HD.